one of the common questions I get on my Colorado pontoon review is how I pack this thing from my truck to the water and how I load it. So I'm just going to do this quick video to show you how I do it. First of all, I would say you want to make sure everything of weight is out of the boat. Things like anchor, I take the oars off, they're already in the truck. When I get to the lake, I take those things down to where I'm going to launch first and then I come back and get my boat. The next thing I do, this is a piece of pool noodle. It's cut lengthwise because the front edge of this has some sharp edges. And if you have a super cool fishing shirt like this Bigfoot steelhead shirt my daughter got me, and you don't want it to get torn up, I put one of these on it mainly just to carry down or to carry back so it doesn't rip your shirt. And I'll put a photo to kind of show you what I'm talking about. Now what I do is I grab the oar supports, just like so, and I just make sure obviously to lift with your legs, not your back. Just pull this up. I support the boat with my waist section, and it's pretty easy to carry around. I believe the boat itself weighs about 71 pounds. So once I get to the water, I will show you how I get it down to the water as well. So now I'm going to load my boat just so you can see how I get it in the truck. I don't inflate the pontoons all the way. This is a 2012 Tundra, so the pontoon fits in there pretty good, but if the pontoons are completely inflated, it kind of sits lopsided. So I deflate those just slightly, and again, just pick it up. So now that I'm at the pond, I'm gonna finish inflating my pontoons. This is the inflator tool here. It just twists into place. You want it pretty firm, but not over. You don't want to over inflate it. position so I've got four rod holders that gives me spots for three rods and my selfie stick for underwater shots oh there we go Good Lord Almighty, I hit that hard. Oh, it's right underneath me here. Look at that. Wow. Look at that thing. That's legitimate. Oh, 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 here we go. Oh, there's a good one. Oh, oh man. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we got another one. Oh yeah, jumper. Oh, here's a bite, here's a bite. Oh, I missed it. Oh no, I got it. It's just, oh, there we go. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, it's a good one. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> dang. Oh, there's a bite, 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 bite. Oh, there we go. We finally got that fish. <laughs> finally got you, you little stinker. I'm done fishing for the day, so now it's just reverse gate. I'm gonna go ahead and take my oars and some of the heavier stuff up to the truck, then I'm gonna come back and get the boat. Cool noodle back on. so I can see what I'm doing. So I break these oars down into two pieces because they fit right behind the seat of my tundra. If this tip was helpful, make sure to hit subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment field below. And if I earned it, hit the like button. So I'll see you on the next one.